in this video i would like to tell about the boosting based ddos detection in internet of things systems now we are going to see about the overview of our process distributed denial of service that is ddos attacks remain challenging to mitigate in existing systems including in home networks that comprise different internet of things devices even though advanced machine learning and deep learning techniques have been adopted for ddos detection the attack remains the major threat of the internet uh, the main aim of our project is to identify or detect the attacks which is occurred in the network by using the various classification algorithms may be machine learning or else deep learning now growth of social network will get increased in day by day basis so however it is a challenging issue to detect the attacks again which is occurred in network in our process the system is developed five different uh, classification algorithms uh, that is uh, for machine learning and deep learning for detecting the ddos attacks or classifying the ddos attacks from our input data set and then uh, we are going to see about the flow of our process first we have to take the input data set uh, in our process uh, the data set name is uh, bot iot uh, the data set was collected from the data set repository like uci repository and so on this we have to collect the input data set then we have to take the data from our input data set then we have to implement the pre processing step in this step we have to uh perform the remove unwanted data or unnecessary noise and so on in this step we have to uh, use uh, three techniques so that means we have to handling the missing values handling the missing values means we have to avoid the wrong predictions because uh, our input data set contains the rows and columns that is the dot csv extension so Uh, in our input data set we have to check any missing uh, columns or missing values or in our particular column so just we have to avoid these columns if it is occurred any missing values in our data set we have to replace that missing values by zeros or non values then we have to implement the label encoding the label encoding means we have to encode the labels that means we have to encode the data into numeric values then we have to drop unwanted columns the unwanted columns means uh, uh, in our data set we have the lots of columns so uh, we have to remove unrequired columns for our process so these are the pre processing steps then we have to implement the data splitting module uh, the data splitting is the act uh, major act uh, for the data mining purpose so it is the act of partitioning the our input data set into test and train uh and uh, the data the data is splitting is based on the ratio for example uh, we have to take mostly in training part we have to most of the data so we have to take in testing part small portion of the data so will be taken uh, the data is taken is based on the ratio that is we have to take 30% train or else 20% uh, sorry uh, 70% train 30% test or else 80% train data 20% test data I so and based on this ratio we have to split the our input data set into test and train after that we have to implement the classification purpose in this classification algorithm we have to implement uh, machine learning algorithm as well as deep learning algorithms in machine learning algorithms we have to implement four types of algorithms that is mlp multi layer perception then knn k nearest neighbor then or or a random forest and then adapt boosting algorithms then the one deep learning algorithm is or and then finally we have to the performance metrics that is the result generation we have to find uh, accuracy for all above mentioned algorithms then we have to visualize the comparison graph for all algorithms all algorithms based on the accuracy then we have to predict the results so this is the flow of our process now we are going to see the our final result part that is output part here this is the result for our process i have okay now i have explained one by one yeah first yeah first we have to check the missing data that is the pre processing steps right 
so in this step we have to remove the unwanted data or unnecessary data so in this step we have to check the any missing values is present in our attributes from our input data set okay so here uh, zero means there is a no missing values in corresponding attributes so we have to proceed the next step then the next step is label encoding the label encoding means we have to the encode the uh, encode the data into labels that means we have to convert into numeric values here we have to label encode um, category column then subcategory column so before label encoding this is our uh, like this is our data set uh, after performing the label encoding the label um, the data can be encoded like this then we have to implement here we are implementing five machine learning five algorithms that is uh, uh, machine learning and deep learning algorithms in machine learning algorithms we have to implementing uh, multi-layer perceptions we got the result 99.99% from our input data set then this is the classification report for generating the multi-layer precision precision recall f1 score and support values then you have to uh, implemented implementing the accurate uh, k nearest neighbor that is knn the result for knn is 99 percentage this is the classification report for knn then we have to implement the random forest uh, in random forest we have got a hundred percent result so this is the uh, uh, classification report for random forest then we have to uh, implement the fourth algorithm is adaboost uh, the adaboost also contains the hundred percent result from our input data then we have to implement finally the deep learning algorithms that is uh, rnn rnn algorithms so this is the result for rnn algorithms when compare with all algorithms this is the low result we got so just we have to compare some graph between the five algorithms that is the four machine learning and one deep learning algorithms so this is the uh, comparison graph for all algorithms so this is the result for our process uh, this part is a variable explorer uh, this part means uh, in our process we are used some variables right and and that variables will be stored in variable explorer first this we have to click and open it as we have to view it so this is the output part for our process